All right, um, <clears throat> the uh, uh, video that's coming up after this is a uh, conversation I'm having with uh, Ray Seger of the uh, Wizard Academy, and it's specifically talking about the um, upcoming uh, September 26 uh, master class that's going on out there. Now, there's uh, some good information in this video, too, if you're watching this years later, uh, so, you know, uh, you welcome to go ahead and watch it. Um, the video is broken into kind of um, three sections. One section talks a, a little bit about the Wizard of Ads business and the Wizard Academy and the differences and also talks a little bit about the um, um, uh, the structure of those two orga organizations and who they're for. And then the um, uh, the next sec segment talks a little bit about the master class, and then the wrap up is uh, how to get in touch with Ray. Now, I got well. I, I have some additional information I, I, that you know I can't put on this recording about who's going to be uh, facilitating in the room. But here's what I would recommend. Uh, first off, uh, some of these guys uh, that are going to be in the room, uh, if you were going to hire them to consult with you. Um, they'd range from 10, 25, 50 grand a day consulting. And, you know, I think what they're charging for this, I mean, it's a, uh, let's see, it goes to 1235 for, that's five hours. Uh, and they're charging, I think, 50 bucks. And, you know, if you're uh, an inside track party member and they're part of the meetup group, you can go look at the meetup event for this day and, um, uh, get a substantial discount even off that. So, you know, the the point of this is, I mean, you know, for a, a little bit of chump change, pocket change, you can get a five-hour uh, marketing, uh, advertising uh, boot camp. I, it, it, this is going to be some seriously good stuff. And, you know, it may, be pro it may be the only time probably for a lot of these people, uh, only time you'll ever have an opportunity to be in a room with them. So I recommend that you, you know, rearrange your schedule um, so that on the 26th you can come down and uh, visit the academy. Also, be sure um, uh, when you uh, register, there'll be a link in here someplace to register. Be sure you put in the, the coupon code that's in the meetup event so you get the discount. And also, um, a lot of you are uh, have gone to the uh, first uh, Friday at the Wizard Academy. And so uh, when you drive up the academy, usually to go to the, the uh, academy courses, you'll go off to the right and go to the tower. And so this time you're going to go to the left and look for the welcome center and the bookstore and uh, ask for the, the veranda room. And uh, also just to, uh, to do a, a quick plug for First Friday here, um, every First Friday or most every First Friday, you can check at wizardacademy.org. There is a uh, free um, uh, kind of a an overview of um, or an introduction to the academy curricula and uh, whole activity that runs from one o'clock to five o'clock. Uh, first hour is um, a uh, sort of a common presentation that talks about uh, an overview of a lot of the core curricula out there. And then there's a tour of the campus, and then uh, another hour or more uh, that is a uh, presentation from a speaker. And a lot of times these speakers are, um, uh, if they were announced to the world, there'd be, you know, hundreds of people trying to come. And some of them are celebrities, too. And so uh, to, to keep their anonymity, a lot of times you'll notice that sometimes the speakers uh, for the second hour or the presentation are announced. A lot of times there's simply a note in there that says, you know, guest speaker. And the reason for that is that anytime you see that, uh, it's probably going to be somebody um, extra special interesting. So anyway, just uh, letting you know about that. I recommend you come to uh, First Friday because when you, when you come to First Friday, it's like a college course uh, or, you know, like a Ph.D. in marketing and advertising. And so uh, what, uh, what you'll derive as an uh, immediate benefit for com from coming to First Friday is that you'll be an alumni member. So whenever you register for one of the, a lot of times, highly um, interesting and um, occasionally expensive um, courses at the uh, Wizard Academy, uh, down at the bottom left-hand corner of all the events, there's a check mark that says, I'm alumni. 
and they'll go check. Uh, you know, if you check that, you better have uh, registered for one of the previous classes. And if you're an alumni member, you get uh, half off your um, uh, ticket for each of the um, your seat for each of the um, uh, courses there. So uh, pretty important. Now the the ground rules for the master class. I talked a little bit about this with Ray at the end of the video. Is uh, you know don't bring your film crew and have them set up in the back room to film the whole event. Um, he was a little flexible on recorders. I suspect that it'd be better if you um, just bring a, a pen and paper. Be sure and do bring a pen and paper though because. A lot of times the uh, information will be coming so rapid fire that um, uh, you will wish you had something to write on um, uh, if you um, you know miss bringing that. So uh, anyway, uh, I'll uh, go ahead and um, uh, introduce Ray here in a minute, and uh, hopefully I'll see you September the 26th out at the uh, uh, Wizard of Ads um, Masterclass. All right, uh, so um, let's see, today is uh, Thursday, September the 20th, 2012, so say your name and claim to fame, right? Okay, I don't know if I have any claims to fame yet, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's good to be here with you, Dave. My name is Ray Sager, and I'm a partner in the Wizard of Ads group, and uh, a lot of people in Austin know me here from our radio show. I do a radio show on 101X Sunday mornings called Chillville. I've been on seven different stations through the years. Uh, here in Austin, also worked in Oklahoma for a while. But back in 2004, I went to work for Roy Williams as an entry-level copywriter. Uh, in 2006, I became a partner in the Global Wizard of Ads group with offices now, 43 offices now in uh, United States, Canada, Latin America, England, and Australia. And I started producing uh, marketing seminars for the group back in 2008. Cool. Awesome. So... You know, probably a lot of people, uh, especially if they're in uh, Austin or Texas or actually any place in the world, uh, probably a lot of people know about the uh, Wizard Academy. And a lot of people listening to this recording probably will have uh, gone to uh, First Friday at the Academy. Talk okay. a little bit about the difference between like uh, First Friday and um, the uh, Marketing Masterclass you guys are doing here coming up in a few days. Sure. Well, the difference between those two classes stems from the difference between the group, the Wizard of Ads group. Oh, yeah. Talk about the difference between yeah. the Academy and the So, the so it, it sets it up nicely because uh, the Academy is a nonprofit, and the Wizard of Ads group is 43 uh, offices and people working consulting owner-operated companies – uh, on a direct one-to-one -one level. So they are related but separate concerns in that our founding partner of the Wizard of Ads group is also the founding part or the founder of Wizard Academy. He and his wife, Roy Williams, and his wife, Penny, are the founders of the Academy. Um, and uh, some years into the Academy, starting in a uh, retrofitted garage out behind our offices in Buda <laughs> to seen the now, the, now the sprawling 30-acre campus that it is now out uh, at the foothills of the Texas Hill Country. Um, you've still got that delineation, and the government's real big about the delineation oh, between yeah. a nonprofit and a for-profit. So we're all real clear that we are in we're in business to feed our families and do yeah. well and to help businesses for profit and help them uh, create abundance. But at the same time, uh, we've created this nonprofit and the benefit always accrues to for toward the nonprofit. So you mentioned First Friday. I've hosted First Friday four times in the last 13 months. I don't get paid for that. Right. Yeah. Same way when I did when I hosted the first Friday, I didn't get paid for that. that that's just a volunteer. It's because I, you know, I I like what what um, what goes on at the Wizard Academy, and so I support the especially first Friday. Great. So uh, yeah, and and you are the example of the perfect example of what Roy had in mind um, in in his big vision for the academy that's now become four hundred people's collective vision it's much bigger than what roy started out with yep. that's exactly it it's that's more than just the length of roy's shadow or his business partners 
but that he and in turn we and now we includes David Favor can perpetuate this vision and it's more than just what Roy and Penny Williams put into. Well, and and also, I mean, if you're listening to this and you, you know, if you're an entrepreneur and you'd like to really um uh what how could I say it? So well, actually, here's the here's the way I say it is is uh um what you say and how you say what you say, who you say it to, how long and how often you say it determines the magnitude and speed of your success. And so that that chunk of um, uh, uh, distillation of uh, speaking and writing craft, if you'd like to hone your speaking and writing craft, the Wizard Academy is a, uh, you know, it's a phenomenal place. It's dramatically changed the way I speak and write, uh, interacting with Roy's books since he started publishing them back you know, 1990, whatever it was, 98 or 9, uh, all the way to today. Right. In, in yeah. fact, you know, while, while I'm, um, talk a little bit, uh, uh, before we get into the, the uh, marketing masterclass, um, give people, I, I think I'm going to start doing this with people that have been out to the Wisner Academy to First Friday because there's no First Friday, like, introduction video. Mm-hmm. So, what is to you? What's First Friday, and who ought to come, and you know uh, why? Okay, sure. Well, uh, First Friday was a creation of Sean Taylor, who is a longtime employee of Wizard of Ads Group, and uh, obviously. Um, when I say he's an employee of the Wizard of Ads group, he's been working for Roy on and off since before I showed up at 2004. And at that time, there was no Wizard Academy as a vested 501c3. Right. So Sean has gone on to become, I'll be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure exactly what his title is, but I know that he manages all of <laughs> He's swinging a big hammer and doing an awful lot out there. And this was his idea as an ongoing series that he could curate, bring in, uh, like you said, you and I have both hosted it, and, I, and I've been a guest speaker as well, um, to bring in, to give a little flavor of what the Academy is about, give a tour of the, of the campus, uh, the various buildings out there, and then also to, you know, uh, to just immerse, uh, uh, for people to immerse themselves in the experience. Right. So who's, uh, who's the... Um the uh, likely suspect or candidate to attend a First Friday and uh, what type of benefit might they... Uh, uh, I mean, some people might think it's like a sales pitch to, you know, for the academy courses, but it's far more than that. So what uh, what do you think people would... Uh, primary benefit they'd receive by coming to First Friday? Sure, and I apologize for the fluid nature of my camera work there. You can tell that I studied film at uh, at UT, right? As I as I like a, that a follow shot that I had while I opened the door there. Um, okay, so the question was, what's the what are the classes about? Or what's fr- first Friday about more than a um, sales pitch? Yeah, so I mean, it, it, the the structure for those that are new to First Friday is the first hour is kind of a uh, a common presentation that's an overview of uh, a lot of the core curricula, and then the next segment is a random guest speaker, usually unannounced, who it is. Right. And so, um, what what would people get out of those two chunks of uh, information out of First Friday? Well, uh, and it kind of goes back to your question that you asked earlier about who would be a good candidate to go out there. And mm-hmm. I think that anybody who is is intellectually curious, whether they're a business owner or not, That's whether true. they're in uh, speaking, writing, consulting, uh, communicating uh, uh, as you know the primary NAICS code for what their business is, everybody uses those skills in whatever they do. So I believe that First Friday gives a nice cross-section of how Wizard Academy could benefit anyone, whether you're a business owner or not, whether you're a marketing professional or not. And certainly, when you talk about the different classes, whether they're uh, uh, involved in uh, communication or problem solving or strategy, whatever the case may be, uh, those are certainly all um, uh, all topics that are addressed there. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's that's a good. Uh, I'm I'm going to start taking a poll from people about their first Friday experiences. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, so, uh, t- talk a little bit about um, uh, what's coming up at the uh, marketing masterclass. Now, you've been doing these for a while, right? Right. Sure. Uh, I've done different seminars. Uh, 
Uh, I produced seminars, I guess, going back to 2008, I've uh, I've produced seminars across the U.S. and Canada, did one down in Guatemala City. Uh, We've got one coming up in Australia next year. And it's just um, uh, when we have our semi-annual partner meetings where our affiliate, they're not affiliates, they're the partners in our group, all descend on the world headquarters. We're here for a couple of days where, you know, all the neurons are firing and and there's just so much electricity between the Wizard of Ads group partners. I decided it would be great to do an event uh, on a day after one of those those semi-annual meetings that we have because I've got this amazing just bumper crop of great speakers in town, right? Cool. So uh, this is the first time where I've said, okay, we've got Monday and Tuesday filled up with our partner meetings. Let's hang around on Wednesday and let's do an event for the local business owners. Cool. So whereas academy classes um, are um, uh, designed perhaps for anyone, this marketing master class is really meat and potatoes for business owners. Gotcha what we've got tomorrow now a lot now certainly it, it's difficult to draw lines of demarcation between Roy's principles of communication that he wrote about in those books back in the late 90s we're talking about mm-hmm. that the sort of ads partners and frankly a lot of people anybody who've read the books have taken those and evolved them into ongoing theories right. now, certainly every thing that we have to say about marketing is going to be rooted in those core principles that is what our organization stands for right cool. but to, but as far as what's going to happen next wednesday on the 26th out at uh, the veranda room that's going to be uh with a special focus for owner operated companies advertising in the local realm awesome cool and who are the uh you said uh, you're going to of course be there um as a uh, speaker and uh, who are you, you said there were some other partners that were going to be there also yes absolutely and I uh, I know for certain who some of those speakers are and there are some who uh, will just announce themselves Monday and Tuesday awesome so it's a because secret you people, but I give you some of the names sure I oh, mean, okay. we've got uh, yeah we've got Peter Neveland okay who yeah. uh, has done a lot of work at the Academy you got Adam Don Moyer yeah, Adam's who, fun guy. Uh, also has done a lot of stuff, and you've probably seen him at some of the uh, events uh, out on campus. Uh, I know that uh, Chuck McKay and Mike Slover are in from California and Illinois, respectively. And, uh, and we've got a few secrets as well. We've got a few surprise guests. Awesome. Um, That's Actually, a- in, from inside our tribe and from some outside that um, – um, That'll be a surprise for you when you get there, for sure. We've got some. Uh, well, as I look at the guest list so far, you know the people who have paid and registered, and uh, from some of our guests, we've got everybody from. I mean, we've got uh, the the largest music publishing company uh, in Texas is going to be there. We've got a radio station general manager and some radio folks that are going to be there. We've got. Hardcore industries are almost always represented when we do an event. So we've got some jewelers, and we've got some heating and air conditioning, and plumbers. Excellent. Got got a car dealer that's going to be there that's uh, that's paid to attend. So, cool. and I'll tell you one of the things, David, in terms of the events that I produce and curate, um, we uh, we love for a chance to favor the prepared mind, so to ah, speak. Ah, there we go. So, okay, so all of all of my guys that that I've got lined up for the itinerary. Um, they know that they've each got a couple of opportunities to um, uh, to to talk about this or that or what the topics are that will be covered. And we can talk about that a little bit if you want. But for me, the magic really happens as the curator and the host and the MC is by looking at the guest list the morning of the event and saying, these are the people who are in the room. Okay. And these are our examples and these are our speakers. And I know that this guy's good at that. And it's interaction it's that's where the magic happens for for me is that you may have attended my one man brand boot camp back in 2009 for example right and you may have attended a first friday class and you may attend this marketing master class next week you may have attended the uh the Boom Your Business event we did in St. Louis last month. Anytime you come to a Wizard of Ads event that I produce, it's always going to be different. You could go to two consecutive events. Right. You hear probably 30 to 40% of the same core material. But past that, it's going to be new, fresh examples and largely based on who's in the room and what their questions are. 
So I guess we ought to talk a little bit about a ground rules too. So, so no, um, uh, no uh, video cameras or recorders in the room, right? And oh. bring, bring a pencil and paper and be prepared to, you know, so take notes. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, so here's the deal on that. That's a that's a policy of the academy. And what I'm producing next Wednesday is not an academy event. Oh, okay, got you. So right I'm there. not gonna. Pro- um, I I don't. You know, that's a great question. I don't know if I need to be in step with that. And that's just the policy of the 30 acres out there. Or if when we do our event, I mean, I'm not gonna have the. I'm not gonna have the iPhone police out. You know, we got a morning show, a, a, a local Austin radio morning show. There's a radio station that's that's bought several tickets. So I know that of the big radio personalities in this town because I've worked in radio a long time. I've got a lot of context here. So a big, pretty, pretty, pretty well-known radio personality is going to be in the room. Well, very well-known. Let's just say that. Um, it, you know, if, if we're talking at the front of the room and giving an example and somebody, you know, gets their camera out to shoot, I can't imagine that yeah, we're going to Yeah, that's, gonna, that's oh, not a problem. Put that away. You know, I... Well, so, so you know, Austin like is like... Ground rules, David. Let's just say we don't have any ground rules. How about that? Oh, no ground rules. All right, yeah. yeah. So Austin's kind of the, you know, the... Uh, the capital of information product. So you, you yeah. might, you, you might, uh, uh, come up with some minimal ground rules or you, you might have your master classes turned into information products sold on ClickBank the next day. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, certainly I, you, you cannot come and record the whole event. Yeah. So, but, so uh, how, how about this? You can, you can take notes or record or whatever for your own personal use. How about that as a minimal ground rule? Well, you can't record the whole event, but oh, if, yeah, you, yeah. if you see a little snippet that you like and you want to, you wanna, uh, you know, shoot so, a little video. So don't bring your film crew and have them set up in the back. Yeah, <laughs> that, there's that, that's the ground rule. Yeah, I'm going to no actually deputize David Favor as the official keeper of ground rules for the event next week. Ooh, does that mean I get to wear jack boots and carry a cattle prod? <laughs> Uh, if that's how you want to dress up, my friend, then that's what you should go for. That's a whole nother, um, uh, conversation. We better, uh, we better yeah. shelve that one. So excellent. So this is actually, um, what's the, it goes from, uh, the master class goes from 1230 to 530, right? Yeah. It's an afternoon event for sure. Uh, we'll fire it up at 1230. We will take a break. It's going to be in the veranda room. We'll take a break probably around three o'clock and, uh, bust out the beer and wine and soda pop and, um, cool. Might take a tour of the campus there. Uh, we'll kind of see how it plays out. Yeah, so uh, just to mention to people who have been out to the academy before, uh, this is going to be in the veranda room where, you know, normally you go to the right to the tower. So this this time you're going to go to the left towards the bookstore. Yeah, it's in the same building as the bookstore and the Welcome Center. For yeah, sure. so just go to the Welcome Center and uh, whoever's there can assist you. And... Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get uh, motivated to make a couple of gallons of uh, chocolate and bring with me. I, no, no guarantees, but okay. If I if I get uh, if I get up early and get motivated, maybe I'll uh, whip up a batch. Sounds like a winner, man. Cool. Anything else you'd like to pass along? Well, hey, set, tell tell people what you do, Ray. So if they'd like to to contact you to have you uh, work with them, uh, what uh, what services do you provide? To, sure. Okay. You know? Well, uh, I'm a partner in the Wizard of Ads group, which means uh, a big chunk of my day today is working with my clients who are across the U.S. and Canada. Um, I work with home service companies and car dealers and jewelers, uh, I would say, are my three biggest industries. But I wouldn't want to say I work with those industries exclusively. Uh, moving more into public speaking and uh, event production is a big thing for me in 2012. Moving forward, we've produced a series of these uh, events for business owners. And I also got accepted to speak at a TED conference in October, which I'm really excited cool. about. What's so, your uh, TED topic you're going to talk about? My TED topic is Beyond Placebo, How Expectation Guides Experience in Medicine, Business, and Life. Cool. So it's the observer and the observer phenomena. Yes. Well, we'd have to talk. We, you know, that would be a good jumping off point for another conversation. Oh, and yeah. That, that, I'll, I'll tell you good. what. Um, uh, well, we all know what the placebo effect is, right? Um, and its manifestations in medicine. So when I started thinking about how the placebo effect works in business – that opened the the floodgates for where it exists everywhere in life. So I hypothesized that and drew some of the neuroscience of the 
the medicinal aspects and then tried to start applying those and I was surprised at how well it worked and so I typed up a little uh, manifesto about that and sent it to the TED people and they invited oh, cool. me to speak about it down in San Antonio on October 13th. Awesome. So you're good. You're at the San Antonio TEDx? Yep. Cool. Yes. October 13th. Awesome. Well, yeah, if, you, um, uh, if you'd if you like to uh, take a run through and practice with our uh, group here in Austin, just let me know and I'll set something up and fill a room up for you to practice. With the TEDx Austin people? Yeah. Well, no, with uh, just the, I, I don't know, I, we probably got, I don't know, two, three thousand of our customers are just here in Austin, so we can... Oh, yeah. A lot, a lot of times we, like, we've got a whole bunch of events coming up here, uh, which, by the way, if you're watching this, uh, be sure and check our meetup feed. Um, I'm about to put up another, I don't know, four or five events. Um, we do a lot of events in our front room here. Okay. And, you know, it's a really interesting venue to talk in somebody's living room <laughs> interesting yeah very well, let's very uh yeah let's let's uh let's see what we're working with there i'm excited about uh, the i'm actually heading down to san antonio uh tomorrow uh for the first group curation uh rehearsal there so oh, cool. obviously um i've got this uh event uh the wizard of ads event next wednesday and then uh aside from just making sure my clients are are happy and their marketing's hitting on all cylinders that's the next big thing uh, for the Excellent. next few weeks and then then we've got another wizard of ads event in denver on october 30th so if you've got any any friends in denver colorado springs um mm-hmm. you can also send them to our website wizard of ads group.com and there's information about that as, event as well and how do people get in touch with you ray directly well, first name at last name always works. Ray at Sagarin dot com. Okay, uh, and then my you know Wizard of Ads group. If you can find your way to to our website, then you can uh, can hook up there. And uh, and my office number is here in the five one two is six one nine two six eight four six one nine two six eight four. And also, just to uh, wrap up here, there's um. Uh, you know, we've talked a lot about the the uh, technologies that Roy Williams is. Um, he didn't really come up with them, but he certainly codified them in a way that nobody's ever done before. And so, it's actually creates a whole body of work that, to me, is new. It's fresh. And if you go to WizardAcademyPress.com and you hunt around there, there are. I mean, it is a treasure trove of free downloads. Like you can download copies of his books and. There's a the thought particles talk is there Joe and the volcanoes there, so if you've got yeah. to, if you'd like to dig a little deeper and go down the uh, rabbit hole of uh, the uh, the uh, wizardly marketing that uh, Roy Williams does, go to Wizard Academy Press and look around there. For sure, yeah, it's in the goodies section. No, uh, goodies now, section I'm, glad, I'm glad you mentioned that, David, because. You know, Roy is a uh, he's a trip, man. He's a he's he's got some crazy ideas, and uh, I think what I like most about the Wizard of Ads group is there is this. I'll use the word dichotomy, and most people when they hear they hear that, it assumes that there's a a division, and it's a healthy dichotomy where you've got this very vivid body of work, as you as you mentioned. Right. These ideas that Roy, as our founder, is constantly evolving and that we all add to. But generally speaking, as an organization, as a tribe, we're a very high freedom, low structure organization. So you've got 43 people cutting their pizzas 43 different ways. And, yep. um, and it's a lot of fun. The, uh, you know, the uh, elasticity in that uh, paradigm is awesome. And, uh, the resultant uh, chemistry that comes with uh, all these bright, uh, uh, forward-thinking individuals. Get them all in the same room, uh, which will be Monday and Tuesday for us, and then you'll get a chance to eavesdrop on some of that Wednesday. Uh, next week's one of my favorite weeks of the year because uh, cause I'm hanging with my peeps, my tribe, awesome. and, and there's a lot of fun stuff that goes on. But for the first time, we'll pull the curtain back and let uh, – Local business owners come in and see a little bit of that on Wednesday. Cool. And uh, also, just to mention, uh, Ray has uh, graciously given a uh, secret coupon code for reduction for my tribe. So if, you, uh, if you're if you watching this video on YouTube, be sure and go to Google Inside Track Party or follow a link that you'll find someplace around here. And uh, I'll put that uh, coupon code on the uh, page. And this is only for the September 26, 2012 uh, masterclass. So... Uh, 
if you're watching this, you know, a year from now, um, make sure that uh, you realize that this is just for this one gig. <laughs> right, right. Well, sure, and uh, uh, I appreciate you helping spread the word around a little bit, uh, David, for sure, and we look forward to seeing you guys out there on Wednesday. Awesome. Well, thanks, Ray. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yep, take care. Uh-huh.